yes. Ah, that's a beauty, mate. Oh. Oh. 168, wind behind into the flag, and there's water all the way around the left of the green. It's all about falling forward. Oh, I love that. That is a great drive, mate. When it comes to what makes a great recruitment process, with all the experience that you've got working with agencies and now enterprises, what is that to you, Brody? What, what makes a great recruitment process? More so than ever during the times we've been through is the ability to adapt and have that flexibility to pivot. Yeah. But I think we've talked about it before, that, that ability to, to change of different strings to your bow. Um, and when we're talking about the process, it's actually keeping it really, really simple yeah. and don't try and overcomplicate it, like you're going to do with this free wood. You know, it's interesting you say that because sometimes I worry at Red Holt that we overcomplicate things. And yeah. I think flexibility in today's market, like you said, is so important yeah. because Different clients want different emphasis on different things, right? Speed, yeah. quality, yeah. Uh, depth of knowledge about the candidates, psychometric tests, etc. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I mean, what, what I kind of try and promote with the team at Job Adder is there's, there's different levels to being a, to, to selling and being that consultative salesperson. You've got features, benefits, and price. You've got service, being that consultative. But the top one's insights. It's about knowing if you're working in hospitality or construction. Chris knows everything about hospitality recruitment and construction inside out. He is the go-to person. So yeah. having that, being that kind of thought leader and that go-to in the market, I think is, if, if I was a recruitment consultant, I would be literally focusing on one sector and I knew everything about it, yeah. being that being that go-to person. And being flexible, being having that adaptability is, for me, it's, it's key. And actually not overcomplicating it. It's not overcomplicating it. All the different things that you said, the psychometric testing and stuff and doing all that, that's... And that's, that is all great, but actually keeping it really, really simple, understanding the client, adding that value back, actually giving something back for nothing. Yeah, absolutely. Something for free. I think that is, you know, that's golden. If you look now at uh, rookies coming into this market, where, where personally I think the most challenging thing about the market now, our mate on a tractor, uh, the most challenging thing about the market now is not finding vacancies to work on, it's finding candidates to fill them. Yeah. You know, if you think back to when you were in that job, what advice would you give to rookies now? Look, good candidates, no good candidates. Yeah. Like, okay. so... Referrals. Refer oh, man, they're key. They're key. You, you will know good people. Yeah. Like, good candidates will know... Like, I will know 20 people that I can refer for a particular opportunity. Yeah. So yeah. actually it's about saying, look, if, you, if it's not right for you, I completely get it. But actually, would you, would, you know, would, would you be someone who'd be interested in kind of giving me a referral or actually anyone you know? Because yeah. that'll be real advantageous. And other things I think I just said before about offering value back for nothing. Yeah. But I can give you career advice or I can actually help you. It's not Bu going to cost you anything. Building relationships. But where do you want to be in the next 10 years or whatever? I think it's interesting because over the last five years of Red Holt, I've definitely seen, you know, running the showcase program as a way of building my network and credibility with people that could be candidates or clients. Yeah. CEO grade people. You know, it's, uh, and, and, and that's because that I'm offering I love company. that. I watch that. I think that's so, that is so good because it's endearing to you. It's quite endearing to people as well. And it's free. I mean? this, this year we're doing it for free. <laughs> Oh. oh, well, pick that up, mate. Yeah, yeah. Golf. What are your sports? You're a football man? Yeah, I love my football. I'm a Spurs fan, so. You're a Spurs fan, but you're in South London, right? Uh, we, just, we just moved, mate, actually. We just moved you're down Cro to... You're a Croydon lad. Croydon boy, yeah. So, uh, my best mate works for, works for Palace, so go and see go and see Palace quite a lot with my lad. She's great, yeah. Love my football. All right. Cricket. Um, and obviously working for an Australian company during the Ashes, especially when 
you get up and you you get up at 1am and like it's 13 for six it's like oh you know i'll go back to bed so <laughs> i'll give that a miss have you uh yeah uh, have you had to go out to Australia much for a job, Adam? Yeah, a few times. I've missed a few trips for personal reasons, uh, but, but a few times. Last time I was there, well, first time I was there, um, I actually went to an Ashes test. Wow. So um, the, the CEO and other co-founder, uh, we all flew down to, to Adelaide to watch a, watch a, watch a, watch a, uh, a day at the test. And actually, it was a dream come true for me, really. It was a bit yeah. of a bucket list thing. That's pretty cool. And actually, we didn't get a result on the day. So they had to go to another day. Yeah. So we decided to stay and go to the next day. It was great. It was it, the result was the result was irrelevant, mate. Really, it was more like I'm yeah. sitting there in the Adelaide. On, on, a, on a scale of ten, how drunk did you get? Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. Oh. Absolute. <laughs> this is going in the teaser. This is definitely going in. I've just smashed one straight into the bushes. Oh, mate, I love that shot. Get in. When you hit a shot like that, it's, you just don't want it to end, do you? I might try and get my tour card, actually. You should, I think <laughs> After you should. That. Yeah. That was a beauty. There you go, pulls one back. 